The crash of Flight 1285 in Gander, Newfoundland. Investigators examine and document the crash site, okay, trying to determine the trajectory of the plane as it went down. And we're going to need pictures of the treetops as well. And we're going to need aerial shots. Thirty-five feet, six inches, four and a half degree declination. Using photographs from the crash site, investigators plot the height of 378 trees to determine the DC-8's exact position as it went down. The airplane was right wing low with a nose high attitude relative to the trees. Through photogrammetry, we determined that, in fact, the aircraft was way above the stall angle of the aircraft. So the aircraft was clearly stalled in a high rate of descent. The plane's radical nose up position prevented it from getting the lift needed to keep it in the air. Investigators can't explain why the plane was flying at such an extreme angle. One clue about what the pilots were doing comes from a piece of cockpit wreckage, the airspeed indicator. Look here. Mm -hmm. There's the bug at 140. It shows that the crews had a takeoff speed of 144 knots. Say 165. And that the plane reached an airspeed of at least 165 knots. Their hopes now rest with a flight data recorder. The recorder for the aero-air accident was extremely limited. We were able to determine, first of all, speed, a little bit of altitude, and heading of the aircraft. And there was no indication on there of engine power, bank angle, uh, pitch angle. The flight data recorder tells investigators that Aero Air 1285 began its takeoff roll and increased to a speed of 167 knots. Liftoff occurred 51 seconds from the start of the roll. Two seconds later, the speed began to decrease. It tells us almost nothing. But a closer look at the flight data does reveal a potentially valuable clue. The distance needed to get to takeoff speed was longer than the pilots had planned for. We looked at the uh, acceleration distances, and it took a little bit longer than we than expected. 4,300 feet, 100 knots. 6,300 feet, 144 knots. They should be lifting off now. Investigators discover that liftoff occurred some four seconds later, or more than 1,000 feet further than it should have. 8,000 feet, 167 knots. Extra 1,000 feet to get off the ground. Why did it take them so long? B1. Rotate. They used the full power, and we would expect them to rotate a little earlier, take off a little earlier. The longer than normal takeoff supports the original theory that ice on the wings played a role in the crash. But investigators know that can't be the whole story.